guys, if you want to go camping or shall we say overlanding deep into the mountains, you know, where the dirt road ends and the trail begins, you don't necessarily need a lifted Ram Cummins like our trail hound, but you do need a very special camper. Isn't that right, Andre? That's right, Roman. If you want to bring your family or a few friends with you, you need something like this, a Romer One Overland Off-Grid Camper but not just any camper because you need off-road tires and air suspension to lift it up. Yeah, and the great thing about this camper is that not only will it go where most campers won't go, but it'll also work as a regular weekend family camping camper. That's a lot of camping and campers, isn't it, Andre? Well, it's a house. <laughs> it is a house. <laughs> you know what? Let's do this. Let's just show them how capable it is off-road by cutting to the drone shot. All right, Andre, we are in the middle of the Rocky Mountains. So um, I think you forgot the generator. <laughs> Robin, my generator is right up above us. It's the sun. This has up to about 1200 watts of solar panels. The entire roof is covered. Um, and also, it's got a giant battery. All right, well, how about if I want to post this video to the World Wide Web? Starlink. Dang, dude. <laughs> Water? Yes, huge. Huge. Shower? Huge. Uh, fridge? Huge. Yes. What else do you need? I think what we need to do is show them all that, but you actually spent your weekend with your family camping out of this. So what do we say we cut to that video? Let's do it. Hey guys, on this episode of TFL Camper Corner, I wanna show you what might be the best full-time camping trailer. What do I mean by full-time? I mean living out of it for an extended period of time and traveling across the country or the world. Um, it's in this case the Romer One by ROA Off Road. I just spent about three days and two nights living in this camper, and I did tow it here with my brand new 2023 Chevy Colorado. We're here at the campground, so this is not a true off grid experience, but what it is, is I just realized that this could be a really great full time camper for those of you who are looking maybe to take a couple weeks or a couple months a few months off of living in a house and actually travel and do some work and play in the camper so let me show this to you first and then i'll go inside and show you why i think this might be the best full-time camper this is basically memorial day weekend here in colorado so it's not too hot but it's been very, very rainy. So I did deploy this 270 degree awning that I'll show you in a second. I also deployed my feet on my trailer. And this trailer is also equipped with air suspension. This is not a full, at least right now, it's not a full self-leveling setup, but it helped me level everything out because this is really mountainous, mountainous and hilly terrain this basically is an all aluminum frame really heavy duty uh, by frame i mean just kind of the structure of it it is also a very luxurious one i really love the awning system so it's a swing out awning and it all fits into this space once it all it's all folded up so that section opens up this section opens up and this awning does have some legs um, i've had a little bit of a struggle getting this awning fully, fully um, just angled so it doesn't have the slow spot. So it does have the slow spot and I think, ooh, there's some water collected there. Um, I tried to lower these legs, but still nonetheless, um, I wasn't quite able to get it perfect. So maybe with some practice and using it a few times, uh, this awning could be really great but what I love about it is that it's kind of wrap around so I can be behind the camper I can be on the side of it but it doesn't extend over this outdoor kitchen 
we've only been using the outdoor kitchen because I kind of wanted to leave the space inside alone. Since it is an Australian design, also has a Cruise Master hitch, three dimensional gimbal hitch that attaches to the truck like this. This is a mid sized truck. You might be wondering, oh my gosh, why are you using a tiny truck to tow this trailer? But with everything you see here, this trailer weighs about 7,000 pounds. And the capability of this truck is about 7,700 pounds. So it's actually not, um, even though this is a basically a 26 footer and it's got a very heavy frame and really fancy suspension and giant all-terrain tires, it's also not super, super heavy. So a mid-sized truck could tow it, maybe not across the country, so if you are moving across the country, maybe get a full-size truck. But at least for this, uh, just short trip here I'm doing, mid-size truck was fine. Thoughtful details right there. An outlet charging. My son is charging his phone. I love these windows. They all open up very easily. I'll show you from the inside. So let's step on the inside. And you could see also this Imperial camper ROA off-road symbols on everything. Romer 1 is the brand, is the name of this trailer. It's got this neat screen that goes into the side, a bug screen. These steps are attaching manually, so this is not like an automatic folding solution. So you remove the step and you stow it away. And let's go inside. So I cleaned up a little bit because we spent two nights in here. And as you can imagine, um, uh, it was a little messy, but once again, I love these windows because you can black them out. You can tell right there, really dark. Let me close this. You can black it out if I close the door. You can tell it's super dark in here. So I love that because I, I don't like sun hitting me in the eye uh, in the morning. This is basically a queen size bed, uh, super comfortable memory mattress, but I didn't like kind of the shelving on the side because when I was sleeping there, I felt a tiny bit claustrophobic uh, just because of the size of the setup. But this trailer is not super wide. So actually a mid-sized truck or a smaller vehicle can tow this. So it's not eight and a half feet wide. There's some storage under here. There's a hamper for laundry, some storage, batteries, batteries. This has a lot of lithium ion uh, battery support, which is why I think it could be a great full-time camper because I never plugged it in. I'll show you outside once I get out of here. Um, never plugged it into this campground. We started with 100% battery. Right now I'm at 81%. So this is also including like two and a half days of sun. Well, by sun I mean two and a half days of <laughs> just sitting here. It was rainy, so it was kind of cloudy last couple days. But we were able to maintain a really great battery because this has up to 1200 watts of solar. Basically the entire roof is solar. All right, let me show you this dinette that we turn into a bed. So if you go down a little bit here, this is a spring-loaded table, basically. So there's a couple of little levers and you can convert it from a bed back into a table uh, quite easily. My son was sleeping here. So basically this camper is, I would say, a three-person because two people can sleep up here and a person can sleep down here as well. Let me show you what's in the back here. So this has basically yacht level sort of comfort and amenities here. So these nice latches that won't unlatch while you're moving, even when you're off road. Let me turn on some of the lights. Kitchen light. There's kitchen light. There's ceiling light. There's also outdoor lights for the patio. Really super great isotherm fridge. We've been using it all weekend. Just a few things here. 
we're getting ready to leave. Once again, outlets throughout. There is a convention induction top. We did not use this. I did not use this sink either. We just wanted to kind of do a lot of our cooking outdoors since it was um, just, just that's kind of special about camping for me. There I am in the mirror. Here's the shower. So there is a fan and I did not run the heater or the AC over this long weekend. Why? Well, first of all, it's kind of cool. Let me turn on the lights here. It's about 50, 55 degrees at night. So I did not need AC and it's right now about 70 degrees. Um, and I did not need heat because this camper has insanely good insulation. So with most of the windows and the door closed, uh, this camper just maintains heat like no other I've ever been in. So the insulation is really amazing. So I did not feel like I need to run the heater and I don't need AC. And I haven't plugged in for about three days. So like you said, like you saw, we used about 2% battery. I did not take a shower, sink, a little bit more storage here in this cabinetry. Once again, blackout windows and a sliding door for privacy here. The ceiling is not super, super tall. So I'm about almost 6'3 and I am, sometimes my hair touches the ceiling. So you may have to consider if, I mean, depending on how tall you are, that's of course a consideration you have to make. But as you can see here, um, super happy that we were able to use this over the weekend and just relax on a comfortable mattress and sleep over here. Let me shut these lights off. Kitchen and ceiling. So this slides in, it's on this giant slide. There's a space for two propane canisters here. Not canisters, but two propane tanks, dual system. We used some of the propane off of here to power our griddle. And there is a, basically a connector hose with a regulator. So that's what we used here. You could drain the water out of the sink here. We had our shovels, firewood, our hatchet is here. There is a space for tools. Right here, there's a couple of other items. You can climb on top of this box or store things in here. There's a couple of steps you can climb up and um, also check out, well, there's a roof rack there, but the roof rack is full of solar. There's additional solar hookup. Hook up some ethernet. And of course, shore power. So this does have shore power here, 30 amp. This also has an enormous amount of payload, about 4,400 pounds. Of course, we've used some of this payload already. Uh, gross vehicle weight of this trailer is 9,920. And like I said, this trailer is currently sitting at about 7,000. So you still have about 2,900 pounds of stuff you could add to this. This is our regulator for propane, some more water hookup. You can hook up water to this. And here is also where the air compressor is. Um, you could air down or air up your tires and also uh, use some of the shower hookup here uh, for water, hot and cold. So you can wash off control and sanitize and winterize your system and that's pretty self-explanatory at least here this could be your house away from home um, and it's also including the battery system the solar system you could really be off the grid i didn't need this not at all of course i did not use every amenity including induction top 
or the AC system, uh, but we're super comfortable with the setup the way it is here. So there you have it, TFL Camper Corner. Uh, just overview of my weekend uh, with this trailer and a few friends as well, friends and family. Thanks for joining me. Check out oldtfl.com for everything automotive. If you want to see an eye gauntlet test of this truck towing this camper on the world's toughest towing test up and down the Eisenhower Tunnel run, check out oldtfl.com as well. That video is published and I'll see you on the next one. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you.